He pretends he has his own problems at home. He's a mediator as well in, in South Sudan. Yeah, um, we know that uh, prior to the outbreak of the conflict in Tigray, you know, uh, Abi always had uh, regional, you know, ambitions of playing a more significant role uh, with regard to peace as well as uh, the kind of political configuration we're going to emerge. Yeah. And so, you know, despite uh, the fact that, uh, you know, it, it, they are still trying to heal, of course, from the conflict in Tigray, I think um, uh, he sees himself as the Ethiopia as still being in a position to play a role that uh, uh, to support uh, other regional countries <coughs> is going to do that. And that is why it's not just in South Sudan. Uh, you see Ethiopia is also very keen to contribute to the kind of uh, engagement against Al-Shabaab in Somalia, yeah. you know, at the same time. So it is not surprising that he's actually doing that, and neither should we try to mock him uh, for, for doing that. He's simply also trying to be a neighbor and trying to, to play you know, his own role. Now, um, but he also recognizes that, uh, you, you know, remember, Ethiopia still has certain issues with Sudan. Uh, over their common border. 100 kilometers square yes. farming land. Yes, yeah. and uh, the issue with, when it comes you know, to the Nile with Egypt, of course, has not really you know, gone away. Yeah. Uh, and neither are other you know, complexities within Ethiopia that touch on the region. Yeah. And so uh, his involvement and engagement in the region is actually natural. Yeah. Uh, it's not just Abiy Ahmed, it's going to be probably for any Ethiopian leader or Ethiopian prime minister you know, in, 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 in the near future, it's going to to be like that. Mm -hmm. So I think I will see his visit and his attempt uh, to play a role uh, within the prism of Ethiopia having been uh, a country that has a, a very big stake within the region, uh, but also that is trying to also you know, change uh, from that image uh, that has plagued it for much of the last two years. And perhaps with a flurry of visits you've been seeing towards Addis, you know, from all over the world, uh, you know, try also to raise his profile and present Addis as a country that can be relied on. Now, one thing that's going to be critical is whether uh, the new energies in the region are going to contribute to uh, revitalization of IGAT, as it were, because uh, for much of the last few years, IGAT was, especially the political arm of IGAT, was all but dead. And it made decision making extremely difficult. Mm. Uh, there were competing forces within IGAT that actually made it impossible uh, for it to be a viable inter governmental organization in the region. Mm. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's important for, for Ethiopia.